Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about order of operations, or PEMDAS! And our goal is to be able to solve problems using the order of operations. And it's brought to you by pizza, because who doesn't like pizza? Alright, so let's go ahead and get into it. So, order of operations is the order that we solve problems, so we need to do it. So our menu over here, from our menu, what are you going to, what order, what are you going to order? Well, we're going to go in this order. We always start with parentheses. Parentheses is like, do this section first. Over here, right here, do this section first. And it can be a parentheses, brackets, or these squiggly little bracket things. They all act the same way. So you always do what's inside the parentheses first. And if you have more than one operation inside the parentheses, you follow the order of operations again in that specific order. Next, after the parentheses, you have exponents. Well, in fifth grade, we really don't cover this, but an exponent is this little number up the top. And all it is is saying, hey, you're going to take this number and you're going to multiply it by itself this many times. So like 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. I don't know how many times I said that. So for example, 2 to the 4th would be like 2 times 2, which is 4. 4 times 2, which is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. So 2 to the 4th power is 16. So that comes after parentheses. And then after exponents is multiplication and division. Now, notice they're at the same level because they're the same. It's whatever comes first left to right. So if division is first on the problem and it's on the left side, you're going to do it left to right, unless there's parentheses, of course, but otherwise you're going left to right, left to right for multiplication and division. You might see it a couple different ways, too. You might see that you have a multiplication problem with an X like you've always seen. It also might be a dot in the middle, not like at the bottom, but in the middle of the problem you might see a dot. You also might see a number next to a parentheses. If a number is next to a parentheses, that means to multiply. The A represents a number, the B represents a number. So if you see these numbers like this next to each other, that means to multiply them. We'll get back to that again. And then you have division. So your division sign looks like this with a line with the two dots, of one above, one below. You have the division, the fraction. The fraction bar is also a division sign. So this means divide, th that means divide these two. Then you have the division, the, your dividend in the house, divides on the outside of the house, if you will. And again, we're moving left to right with multiplication and division. And we'll see a couple examples in a little bit. And then last is addition and subtraction. Again, at the same level, you're going left to right with addition and subtraction. Plus sign and minus sign. So that's what those would look like. All right, so now we know this is the order we go in. Let's get to the practice. Okay, so here's our first example. All right, so we have this problem over here. I'm using a pizza slice because we're gonna solve one step at a time when we solve this problem. So we're doing one step, rewrite every single thing. So if we follow our order of operations, what will you order? Well, I'm going to order the parentheses because we do this section first. So we're going to start with 18 plus 6. It is in the parentheses. We do it first. Then we're going to solve that. So what is 18 plus 6? 24. We rewrite everything else. A lot of people try to skip this step. I'm telling you, you want to rewrite everything else. You want to do it because it makes it easier, it will make less mistakes. All right, so now looking at this problem, we don't have any more parentheses, we don't have any exponents, but we do have multiplication and division. So we have a division problem. Since we don't have a multiplication, in this one here, we're gonna do 24 divided by three. So 24 divided by three, that is going to be our next step because multiplication and division come before addition and subtraction. 24 divided by 3 is 8. So 45 minus 8 is our last problem. It is the only addition and subtraction problem. So we're going to solve 45 minus 8, which equals 37. Now notice it makes this little triangle here. This little triangle. 
and which kind of looks like a pizza slice. That's why you think about a pizza. I know some of the kids think about like Doritos or different things, but you want to solve one step at a time and it should make this lovely little triangle. All right, so let's go to another problem. I want you to pause and see if you can solve this problem using these steps right here. Well, hopefully you're able to solve this problem. But now, what are we gonna do first? Well, we have the parentheses and we know how to do the parentheses first, but there's brackets and parentheses. So we're gonna do this section first, but in this section, there is parentheses. So we need to do the parentheses first. So the first thing we're gonna do is 60 divided by 15. So what is 60 divided by 15? Four. So I rewrite everything else. Now notice we have a number next to a parentheses. That's just like what we were talking about earlier. Over here, number next to a parentheses, which means we are going to multiply. So it's the same thing as 17 times four. So if you see the number next to parentheses, same thing as 17 times four. So now what do we do? Well, we still have the brackets, so we need to do the parentheses or the brackets. So we do this section first, 17 times four, which is 68. So we rewrite everything else and just have the 68 there. So now what is our next step? Now you might be thinking that we solve addition first, but if we solve addition first, we are gonna get the wrong answer. So we have to do left to right. Since addition and subtraction are on the same level, we're going to go from left to right. So which one happens first, left, right? Well, the subtraction part, right. So we're gonna do 84 minus three before we add. So 84 minus three is 81. So now we have the last step. What is our last step? 81 plus 68. Excellent. So what is 81 plus 68? 149! Great job. And again, we have our triangle. We solved one step at a time, and we have a triangle. All right, so let's go to the next problem, and I want you to solve this one before you freak out. I know we have a couple of parentheses, and I know we have the brackets, and I know we have fractions, and don't take a deep breath. Just take a deep breath. It'll be fine. All right, so think about what you're going to do first. Hopefully you've paused it. Hopefully you've tried it. Even if you got it wrong, at least you tried it. That's okay. That's what we want to do. So, all right, so now let's go through the problem. So we have the parentheses, and we have more parentheses, and we have more parentheses. Well, let's start with the bracket section, and we're just solve one at a time. And now I know some of you are like, well, I can just solve them all of them at the same time. Well, technically you can in this situation, but you have to be careful with that because sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you can do that as long as it doesn't overlap and they're not changing the order in which you are solving them. In that case, you can, but be very careful if you do. All right, so let's go ahead and solve left to right with our parentheses or solve this bracket section first. So nine minus two is seven. And then we have the parentheses inside the bracket to solve next. So two plus one, which is three. And then we have the brackets and the parentheses left. Let's just still con continue solving the bracket, so seven times three is 21. So now we have what's left. Well, the parentheses comes before the division problem. So let's go ahead and solve the parentheses. Now, hold on, calm down, this is fractions, but remember when we add and subtract fractions, the denominator is gonna be the same, and look at that, they're already the same. You don't have to go through the process of making the denominators the same, they're already the same. So one-fourth plus three-fourths is four-fourths. And again, written like this, but, you, but wait a minute, four-fourths is the same thing as what? One whole. So now we have our one whole. All right, so four-fourths, we solved that. So now we have our problem. So 21, divided by one. So we solved what's in the parentheses, and now we are ready for our last step, and 21 divided by one is 21. Yeah, again, we got our triangle, it looked overwhelming, but we made it through, you did fine. I'm really proud of you guys, good job. All right, this is the last one we're gonna do. I want you to pause 
and solve this one on your own. All right, so hopefully you're able to pause and solve it, but notice there's no parentheses. So if there's no parentheses, we don't go through that step. We skip that step completely. There's nothing to solve. We just overlook it. And there's no exponent, so we don't, don't look at that. So now we're looking at multiplication and division. Is there any multiplication or division? Yeah, there's three times four. So we're gonna use three times four first. Three times four is 12. So now we look for our next step. So what was your next step? Well, we're going left to right with the addition problem, right? If you add first, that's gonna give you a negative number. So we don't want any negative numbers. So we're going to actually solve this first because we're going left to right. So 15 minus 12 comes first. So 15 minus 12 is three. And we have one more step, three plus nine, which is 12. And that's it, guys. That's our video on order of operations. As long as you solve using this order, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, left to right, whichever one comes first, that's the one you solve, left to right, and then addition, subtraction, left to right. And that's why we call it PEMDAS. This is our PEMDAS pizza that we used. So that's it. That is our order of operations lesson, and this is how we solve it. If you have any questions, please email or ask your teachers. We would love to help you. All right, that's it. Bye. Great. Lexi, this pizza tastes like cardboard.